Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm gonna this video here is gonna be teaching you guys on how to get to level 99 super fast in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm getting a lot of questions on like, yo, awareness, how do you get to level 99? What's the XP strat? What do you gotta do? La di da. Well, in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys just the minimum basics on what you need to do in order to make sure you guys get enough score in each trial to rank up fairly quickly. And I'm going to show you guys what I did. So we're going to dive right into it. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves two lock picks because we're going to work on two doors. And that's what I recommend you guys doing is always unlocking at least two doors, a main door, and maybe like a nice little random ladder door. Main doors is what I usually like to call them just because like whenever I'm traversing through the map or whenever I'm in trouble, I like to run down the stairs instead of, you know, attempting to climb down a ladder and getting, you know, smacked and landed on my ass and just jumped down there. Uh, so yeah, main doors is going to be like staircases, things you're going to possibly use in the middle of a chase to get yourself out of sticky situations. So we just go ahead and got our first 200 points for unlocking the door. We got another 100 just for leaving the basement and entering a new area. So we're gonna go ahead and work on our second door here. And after we're done here, we're gonna go ahead and resupply on some, some stuff. We're gonna go ahead and work on grabbing a bone scrap here, possibly a tool, possibly a, a health pot. Although I do not recommend grabbing a health pot in early game just because you're gonna need it when like end game comes mid to late game you're going to need some health and you're just going to be out of options on where any health is so i do not recommend grabbing health in the beginning of the game so we're going to go ahead and pick up some bone scrap and seeing see how this is our first time grabbing some bone scrap we're going to get a nice little 50 points i see a health pot right here i'm going to go ahead and trade it out for another 50 as you see my points go up to 725 from 675 it's going to be a nice little 50 points so after we got what we needed we're going to go ahead and head right on upstairs we got two bone scrap and you already know where one of these is headed and grandpa i'm coming to see you go ahead and cut you some noise makers noise makers are actually 25 xp so go ahead and cut you some of them there's never enough xp for uh, some bone scraps and like i said earlier this is why i like to use main doors because if that cook caught me at the top of the ladder he would instantly knock me down and possibly come down and you know and kill me so this is what i like to use seeing how i open up this door and that door i know what doors are accessible so i'm gonna go ahead and head up the other door just because I got pushed down the other one. So now that we're up here, I'm going to work on finding Grandpa. And there he is. Check him out. Look at him sitting in this comfy chair. Go ahead and give him a nice little stab. Air him out real quick. Nice little 500 points. I see Bubble coming my way. It's another 150 just for the door slam. So that was a quick little 650 in just 10 seconds. After we do all that, getting them off of us, we're going to see, figure out which exits we can go out of. If there's any that we can do. I don't have a, a tool pick. So we're going to need to either find one or find another exit. And I see an honor right here. Possibly she's got some work done upstairs. You now she came down from running. Got ourselves another noisemaker. Got to cut them. Never enough. There's never enough noisemakers in the game. Uh, I see this back door is open. We're going to make ourselves make our way right out of here. Head out to the back and see what we can do out here. I see this one's already open. So it looks like one of my teammates have actually been back here unlocking some progress, making progress work. And there she is, Connie. She's the one doing all the work. Okay. So I'm going to leave Connie to do the battery and I'm going to see if I can find something else to do to help the team. Just because I'm out here in the, in the open, no one's around me, I'm in the clear. I see Connie didn't turn this battery off, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and grab me a nice little 50 points for turning just the generator off. It's going to put me up to 1.7. So after we complete the battery, we're going to head right on over here and maybe we can turn the generator off or maybe possibly start pressure valve. I got my Connie here with me, so she's going to do one or the other. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Again, the noisemaker, got to go. Never enough of them. Never enough. Go ahead and give yourself a cut. I see the valve handle right here. I'm not going to do the generator just yet, just because if I turn that off, it's just going to be a loud noise, and they're going to just force to come out here and, and just stop me from you know making any further progress, and they're just going to know somebody is out here you know, put pressure on me. So I see a hitchhiker coming my way. I got my shoulder ready. I see the valve tank. The play just had to be made right there. Go ahead and go over here towards the valve and give me a nice little 50 points for just for turning the valve on. Nice little 50 points just for starting the valve and finishing it. So that's going to be a total of 150 points just right there. So we should rack up about a pretty good amount of uh, score right now to leave the trial, but it looks like we can use a little bit more. I'm working on a sneak attack or a close encounter here just so I can get maybe just a little bit more points, get them off of me to make some distance. I'm over here at 2.25 right now. And with a close encounter win, it's going to jump me up a little bit more. I already had a teammate escape, which is going to be another 100 XP for just your teammates escaping. So don't really focus too much on escaping if you're trying to level up. The goal is to try to get as much score as you possibly can in one game. 
So now that I know I'm the only one left, there's not much you can really do when you're by yourself. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it a day and make my escape. Get Chicken and Lice a little tea bag. And we're going to call it a day right there. And that should end me at 3.100. Nice. Good little game. Averaging out 3K a game is what you're going to be looking for. And this is everything that you're going to possibly want to keep in mind. Take yourself a nice little screenshot. It. Remember it. Jot it down. Do what you got to do. But these are all the points that you could possibly earn in each match and what you know what you should be looking for stabbing grandpa is a nice little easy 500 escaping is a nice little easy 500 and everything else is just small points you know what i mean you know what i mean but you definitely want to look forward to aiming for all of those and whatnot and making sure you get it maximizing all the points you possibly can within a trial but that will be it for the video i hope this video was helping you guys out and help you make sure you guys get a nice little score in each game now if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop, drop by the stream at on twitch.com forward slash awareness. Same users as my YouTube. Just come back in, come by on the stream and ask me anything you would like to know. I'm here to help you guys out. I stream pretty quite often, so you can always catch me streaming and being right there for you guys. Is any questions you guys need answered. Um, but you guys enjoy your time. Good hunting. Good farming. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys here in the next one. Y'all enjoy yourselves.